Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day today. This is the agenda for today's video. This is likely to be the first of many videos where I go over the decent hardware wallet. In this video, the focus is going to be on giving you guys an introduction. Future videos will focus on helping you guys get set up. Before I begin the video, I'd like to take a minute to fully disclose that I received a hardware wallet free from the team. The condition being that I would do at least one video review. The only money that I make from doing this video is the conversions I make through the referral links I've linked down below. Initially when I received the links, the links I received provided very competitive prices compared to the prices that you see on the website. However, if you decide to get the bundle pack, you do save more money by using the link in the description below. But in my opinion, the best value for your money is the combo pack. Unfortunately, I don't have a referral link for that. But I did reach out to the team to see if they can give you guys a special discount. If they end up sending me one, I'll make sure to update my description by including that link. Otherwise, for the time being, I'm just going to include the non-referral link. This way, if any of you guys are interested in buying the wallet, you'll get the best value for your money. Again, the focus of this video is just going to be giving you guys a brief introduction. If you guys need help setting up before I publish my next video, I encourage you guys to check out my Discord channel. My community and I have a dedicated Discord channel for crypto wallet talk. So if you have any direct questions for me regarding the decent wallet, or perhaps you have a question in general regarding crypto hardware wallets, I welcome you to join my Discord community by clicking the link in the description below. It's only gonna be valid for the first 25 clicks. So if you're new to my channel, I would move fast before the link expires. With the intro out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this video. All right, let's go ahead and get this video started by giving you guys a brief introduction on the team and the product. The company behind the hardware wallet, IO Trust, was founded in January 2017 by eight veteran technologists averaging two decades of experience in deeply embedded security software systems. In the picture above, you see 11 individuals. Presumably, eight of those are eight of the veteran technologists who helped start the company. The team is based in Korea and has a lot of experience with Secure Element and Trust Zone technology. For those unfamiliar with Secure Element, it's a microprocessor. It's embedded in the decent hardware wallet. It prevents the extraction of private keys and pin codes from devices in which it's embedded, which makes it well suited to protect your digital assets and other financial services applications. It's another layer of security that defends your sensitive data and information from malware that may be lurking on the device's operating system. Project is a VC funded Geron Security and Korea Investment Partners, Korea Premier Venture Capital Group, have all invested in this hardware wallet. Assuming this website is up to date, there are currently 23 members in the team. So here's what I received with my box. They have a detailed user guide that you can use. And to streamline the setup process for you guys, you guys can follow the easy instructions listed on this card. And of course, you have your hardware wallet itself, encased in plastic sealing. And to help you guys record your personal recovery seed, they've also provided this card as well. The hardware wallet does come with some juice, and once it's fully charged, it can last for hours. But if it does run out of juice, you can always charge it with the micro USB cable provided by the packaging. And even though the car does come separately unless you buy the combo, the team was gracious enough to also send me a card. And if you guys keep watching this video, I'll make sure to go over all the features provided by the card. And the nice thing is when they send you the packaging, aside from the plastic that's covering the entire box, they've also added a special tamper resistant seal proof. This way you can be assured that your hardware wallet wasn't tampered with before you received it. So if you end up getting the entire package, which includes the biometric wallet, the downloadable software wallet, and the card wallet, you're essentially getting three different wallets. The balances aren't synced, they're gonna be demarcated. And now we'll go ahead and talk about the unique features across the three wallets that they provide you. We'll go ahead and start with the hardware wallet itself. It supports multiple cryptocurrency, currently it supports this list of cryptocurrencies, and they recently added Stellar to the basket of cryptocurrency that they support. Unlike other hardware wallets, you can log in using biometrics, which allows for more convenience and enhanced security when it comes to access control and fast transaction signing. 
And what separates Decent from other hardware wallets is that you don't need to connect to additional software program. You can generate your private keys in a secure manner directly from the device. And this is made possible by multi-IC architecture, which not only provides the strongest protection for privacy and private key. And according to Sony Computer Science Labs, this IC card type cryptocurrency hardware wallet technology not only manages the private keys used for cryptocurrency transactions, but also manages private keys used for other purposes, such as those permitting for the use of personal information using blockchain technology. It's an infrastructure technology with multiple possible applications. And I'm sure you can see from the pictures, but it has a large OLED display, giving you full transaction details and accounts. And of course, you can back up and restore your wallet. Transitioning over to the mobile app, it's an easy way to manage your cryptocurrency portfolio. Obviously, being a mobile application, you're going to have a more comprehensive review of all your transactions and your current account balance. The UI really makes it easy to send. You can even customize your fees according to your preference. And at your fingertips, you'll have your entire transfer history ready to view at your disposal. And to my knowledge, this is one of the first wallets that allows you to transfer money using Ethereum name system. This way you don't have to copy and paste a long ERC20 address. You can easily enter in the ENS domain. And just like many other mobile user interfaces out there, it does generate a QR code for you guys. And lastly, it supports NFT management. If anybody sends you a crypto kitty or any other NFT, you can easily access the display by clicking collections. And finally, we have the decent card wallet. It's very easy to use. You can simply touch the card with an NFC chip to connect to all the assets stored on your card. Given the price relative to hardware wallets, it does make it an economical gift to give to your family and friends. And you can even log into blockchain games and dApps. And currently they have an airdrop event going on. So if you get one of these cards, and you connect it to the mobile app, you'll be automatically registered for that giveaway. And much like the mobile app, it does support NFT tokens. And here's what your card is gonna look like. You have NFC support, you have a security chip that helps to protect your private keys. There's a default factory pin, which you need to enter in before entering in your own password. And of course you have your Ethereum address alongside a QR code. And to end the video, let's talk about some of the pros and cons. To begin with, it was one of the easiest wallets for me to set up with. I haven't used any of the new Ledger wallets, but I know from my previous experience with the Nano S Ledger that it's a very cumbersome process. Setting up with this wallet took literally a few minutes. And I'm not just talking about the hardware wallet itself, but I'm talking about the card, I'm talking about the mobile application. All of that just took a matter of minutes for me to set up and get started. Secondly, I like the ease of access to get into your hardware wallet, your card, your mobile application. It's all very easy to do. Thirdly, I like the fact that they have a QR code on the hardware wallet itself, which is nice because if you're taking your hardware wallet with you and someone wants to send you cryptocurrency, rather than sending your address, they could simply scan the QR code generated by your device. Next, I like the fact that with the mobile wallet, you can go ahead and adjust the gas fee. This way, if you don't need a very fast transaction, you can save a little money by lowering your gas fees. And lastly, it's very secure. It implements some of the latest technology. And because of the design, it's always being updated. This way you're updated with the latest security software. When it comes to the cons, I don't like the fact that they don't have a lot of coin support. If you're looking for a wallet that's gonna support the greatest variety of cryptocurrencies, this is probably not the wallet for you. Secondly, even though they advertise dApp support, I'm not able to interact with any DeFi protocols. As many of you know, I'm a huge fan of the DeFi space. I do routine videos on DeFi and I expect that sometime in the near future, they'll eventually integrate DeFi protocols. But for now, you won't be able to access any of the services offered by the decentralized finance ecosystem. Thirdly, even though it's nice to have three separate wallets, I wish they had a feature that would allow you to sync the wallet balances. For some people, there may be some utility to having three separate addresses, but personally, I would love to have a feature where you could sync. This way, if I received anything on my hardware wallet or if I received anything on my card, I could always check that balance on my phone on the go without having to connect to my hardware wallet or my card. Lastly, it's not a big issue for me because I tend to buy my cryptocurrencies on exchanges, but for those of you guys who wanna use your debit card to buy cryptocurrency directly on your wallet, even with the mobile application, you won't be able to do that. Well guys, that pretty much wraps things up. If you guys have any questions and inquiries, I welcome you guys to express those in the comment section below, and I would love to hear any feedback you guys have to offer. And if you're interested in joining a community of like-minded individuals, don't forget to join my Discord channel by signing up with the link in the description below.
And before leaving, if you found any value in the content that I presented, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel. This is Crypto One Stop signing out. I'll talk to you folks next time. Bye.